Web comics are awesome. I think everybody should do a web comic. I started off doing web comics. If you have any interest at all in telling stories and making pictures that go along with those stories, doing a web comic is awesome. It doesn't have to be the most amazing thing. You can do a simple web comic. You can do a short web comic. I think the important thing is just to do a web comic. But I know it can be a little daunting. A lot of people ask me, how do you make a webcomic? Uh, so I'm gonna do my very best to go over a few things that I think you need to know when you start your first webcomic. So webcomics, how do I make a webcomic? This is not gonna be a technical video. I am doing a bunch of other videos about how to make comics and webtoons and webcomics, so make sure you check out those videos if you want the technical side of how to make comics. This video is gonna be more about the mindset on how to start your comic and what to do once you've started posting your comic online. I've done four different web comics. When I first started off, I was doing a three panel gag and day strip on a website, a hosting platform called Drunk Duck, which is still around. If you want to check out that comic, it's called Cubicles. It was the first comic I ever started putting online. Then I started a full length narrative comic called Shiver Bureau that I posted on my own personal website, shiverbureau.com. From there, I moved on to a featured webtoon comic called Hacksaw, which is of course on the webtoon platform. And now for my final webcomic, I am taking one of my first graphic novels, which was a traditional uh, comic book format um, that I'm converting into the webtoon format. So I've done a few different ways of doing a webcomic, so I'm gonna pass along some of my information as far as like what I think you should do to start doing webcomics. Now before I start, I just want to say why I think webcomics are so awesome. And it's because you get to tell your story and you don't need anybody's permission. You don't have to send your story to a publisher and wait for their response or run a Kickstarter to raise a bunch of money to print books and then go to a bunch of different conventions to try to sell your books to people. Now, yeah, you still have to build an audience and get people to want to read your comic, but at least you get to bypass all that other crap and that's pretty dope. So I want to talk about the four stages of webcomics before you post, the first time you post, posting, and then what to do after you've been posting for a while. So the first stage is before you post. Now the most important thing to do before you post is to build up a buffer. A buffer is basically having a bunch of content already produced before you start posting live. Now having a buffer is going to take a lot of the stress, a lot of the anxiety off of your shoulders because as you start posting your comic, you're going to get sick or something's going to come up and you're not going to be able to produce a new comic that week or that month, whatever it is. And you'll be able to dip into that buffer and pull out an episode to basically save your butt. And then next week you'll be able to produce maybe two episodes and then refill that buffer and then also have new content to post. Uh, and then also having a buffer is going to help with the next stage, which is posting your comic for the first time. Now, this is a bit of a pet peeve for me. When people send me to their comic, like they're like, hey, I just launched my new comic. Go check it out. It's awesome. Love it. And I'm excited. I'm like, I want to see a new webcomic. I want to read a new webcomic. So I go to their website and the only thing they have up there is like a cover image or a teaser. And I'm like, well, crap, I just spent my time going to this webcomic and I got super excited to read a webcomic and there's nothing there for me to read. I'm just looking at a cover. Now that's not enough to get me going. That's not enough to get me excited. I want to read a few pages. Now, if you have a buffer, if you built up a buffer, you can post the first five pages or 10 pages or three episodes, whatever works for your schedule. And then when someone goes to your webcomic, they will have that content to read and that gets them hooked. That gets them wanting to come back for more. Um, now, what do you do to keep them coming back over and over again? And that's stage three, posting your comic. The most important thing for posting your comic is to remain consistent. You don't have to post every day. You don't have to post every week. You could post every month or every two weeks. The thing is, is to pick a schedule and stay consistent with it. That's going to let people know that they can come back every two weeks or every month and there's going to be a new story for them to read. The problem becomes an issue when you say, I'm going to post every day. 
that's a really hard schedule to keep. Not very many people can do that. Uh, it's awesome if you can because that keeps people coming back and gets them more story. So it's awesome if you can, but it's not great if you can't. So because it's going to start becoming, uh, oh crap, I had to skip a day and then it's like, oh, I had to skip two days and three days and now you're posting every month. People get confused. They're not sure when they should show up, when they shouldn't show up, how, when are they even going to get a new story? And that starts making people not really lose interest, um, but it's hard for them to remember to go to the webcomic. So it's more important to look at your schedule, look at your life, look at how fast you can draw, how fast you can write, and being truthful with yourself and picking a schedule that works for you and then sticking to that schedule is gonna keep people into your comic. Now the fourth thing, the fourth stage is what to do once you've been posting for a while. And this is a stage where you have to start thinking about can you make money with this? Now, if you don't care about money, um, awesome. I don't know who doesn't care about money. Maybe you're super rich or you just like making a comic as a hobby. But for the rest of us that wanna make a little bit of money, there are a few ways you can do that with a webcomic. Now, making money directly from the webcomic is pretty tough. People used to make ad revenue back in the day, but I don't think that works as much as it used to. So you have to find ways to, to make money on the side of your webcomic. Now, that could be making t-shirts, uh, posters. Uh, the big thing now, which I use a lot, is Kickstarter. Kickstarter will allow you, and I said, I know I said at the beginning you didn't have to run a Kickstarter and you don't have to run a Kickstarter, but you have that option, especially when you start building up a fan base for your comic. So you launch a Kickstarter, you raise money to print the comic, um, and then you can sell those copies of the comic out to people. You could also raise money to print shirts if you don't have money for that. So Kickstarter is an awesome way to make some money off of your comic. So it's basically gonna be that. Um, running a Kickstarter, making merchandise. I'm sure there's other things out there, other things that people are doing. Uh, you could also take your comic now that you have a bunch of content and then go out to a publisher. And if they want it or don't want it, that's up to them, but at least you got to tell your story. You didn't need their permission to tell your story, but now that you've told your story, maybe you can use those publishers to help get your story out to a whole different audience. Okay, so those are all the things that I think you need to know, what you need to do to launch your webcomic. Now, if you want some more of the technical stuff, make sure you check out my how to make webcomics and webtoons and comic videos. That will get you started on like file sizes, lettering, coloring, all of that crap that you need to know um, and get you going. Otherwise, if you have any other ideas on what you need to do beforehand, during, after your webcomic, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, link, love, hug, and sub for more sweet, sweet goodness. Peace.